You're listening to Hunter's Club. Up, what up, what up, what up? We're back at it. Welcome to Hunter's Podcast. Yes, sir. Where we talk about anything and everything. Mm. This is your boy, Splash of Bailey's. It's your boy, Henny Knows. You know what time it is? Drop that intro. Drop that intro-ish. Listening to Hunter's Club. Exfoliated, bro. You see lighting be lights in here, man. The lighting is very The studio's clean. coming along, you know what I'm saying? Teeth are looking extra white, bro. Oh, I do like this. You know yeah, what I'm saying, bro? I'm like yeah, feeling kind of good about this. Look yeah, how we feeling? How we feeling? How you well, feeling? Well, check. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good, man. You know, we just came off that. Uh, oh, I don't want to put any dates. Don't put any dates or actual times or anything like that. Right. You know, sensitive. But um, we just came off that storm probably like two days ago. Oh, and uh, yeah, the streets are a little mod still, but it's better. You know, I, we, I didn't go outside that day. Did you go outside that day? On the Monday? On the on the Monday when we had that, that snowstorm. Yo, I stayed inside. Stayed you stayed inside? Yo, you I actually, inside. I went to the grocery store on that day, bro. I Why? Yo, niggas are hungry, bro. There was no food. In you there. go grocery shopping the day before? I didn't plan. I don't look at the weather network that way. Some Ooh. days I look at Twitter. Some days I don't look at Twitter for my weather. Why is Twitter your, why is Twitter Social media in general, your weather source or your your what am I what I don't have cable. I'm not looking at CP24. What do you do? Listen to the radio? No, nah, find me on a phone. Just open the phone app and you can see the weather network right on your phone. Twitter's on my phone. Weather network is also on your phone. I don't trust that. You don't trust the weather. You twist you what? I don't trust. I'm done. I'm off it. I'm off it. But whatever. CP24. I'm off it. I'm, oh, this nigga's I'm off it. I'm off it. I'm not sitting next to you. This is what we doing, bro. I'm not sitting next to you. One thing that's gonna happen on this podcast is that I'm gonna get HOC. He had to start smoking. Oh yeah. So I went to the grocery store on the Monday. Yeah. And when I tell you I saw cars sliding, stuck in these little snow, snow dishes, and I'm like, yo, this isn't madness, bro. Why are people even outside right now? Says the guy who's outside right now. Don't ask questions like that. But man. see, the good thing for you though is that you live right across the street, so it's not that bad. That it was bad. right there. But it's still, I seen the snow when I went out the next day, and I was like, I couldn't even imagine what it was on the day of. Oh, on the two. So I was yeah. working yesterday. That's why. So I'm driving around the city. I must have seen at least twenty stalled buses stuck mm. in snow patches all throughout the city. If you were on Bayview anytime during that um winter storm. I feel bad, yo. Yo, all the TTC buses we seen, yo, parked up because you're not leaving. I'm just like these guys. They they got stuck. Yeah, and he said, "All right, I'm off," and they just walked off. Like, I quit. I <laughs> like you guys can come collect. Come collect your freaking bus because I'm not taking it. And I felt like I seen it. I can see how they did it. Yeah, they just it was hilarious just like that. They just, just cut because all throughout this city, the lights were stuck. on. They didn't I couldn't even turn off that. the buses. Bro. They're still on, fam. It's been three days. They're still <laughs> running the batteries. How are you allowed to do that? So do you guys feel like. Uh... The let's change this. Oh. We're doing conspiracy theories. We're doing conspiracy. Let's get right. Let's get into it. Let's let's let's, let's, let's get into it. We're gonna start with the weather network. We're, we're gonna actually do this. Do I don't this? know, man. Do I don't know. Go ahead. I don't know. They might. Ace report. Ace report. Ace report. Tell us about this. What do you think? Yo, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. 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 All the way in China. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I, don't I know, think man. something's something's interesting because we're in the middle of a lockdown. Uh-huh. You know, we want people to stay inside. Okay, cases going up, whether it's just cases or hospitalizations, ICUs, deaths, whatever it is. Mm. All of a sudden, yo, we're hit with a snowstorm that's supposed to be four days. It's just timing. You know I'm honey. saying fifty centimeters. We haven't seen this much snow in thirty-five years. Given the circumstances, it's easy to either say one or two things. What? Somebody press the button, or Mother Nature ain't fuck with us no more. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, bro. You, you, you guys ain't seen a meme of like uh, uh, on IG. I seen it was like Jesus Christ, and he sees the like the Earth, and no. he's kind of like hug, hugging the Earth a little bit, but he's giving like, he's giving the Earth like a vaccine, and he's oh, like, no. "Here's a little COVID, just to clean you, just to help oh, you out a little bit." No. And COVID is the antidote, oh, no. and we're the poison. You I seen? like that though. You seen? So I like that. Though. So 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 I just think it's funny. I just you know it's funny thing. That's a good flip because, and then at the end of the day, I think humans we have some like very parasitic behavior at this point in history. Like I'm we've done. been doing some bullshit. Whether it's polluting, is that one of the pushing peas? Nigga, niggas pushing pollution. They're pushing pollution. Oh, no. That's They're pushing one of the peas, bro. They're pushing something. It has to be something because oh. I don't even know what's happening. I'm pushing weather. Peas. Pushing peas. You know what I'm gonna say. Like all clubs are shut down in Toronto. Mm. Restaurants are shut down unless you have an outdoor patio. Which and is an indoor and patio. And niggas be pushing those peas too. Yeah. Every, if you're out there on these patios right now in sub in sub minus 20 degrees. Stupid. Y'all wild, bro. They just want to be outside. You don't like your wife and you don't like your husband. That's all it is. 
If you're going outside right now, if if, if 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 you're going outside right now, if you're going outside right now, and you're 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 in this negative 20, 60 centimeters of snow or some bullshit like that, they've been saying. Yeah. And you're just trying. I have to eat outside. I gotta get a steak from freaking uh, Soto that. Soto or something. Yeah. Too. It's like, dog, really? You you don't you don't like being home? You hate your family. You hate your life. And you don't like the way your wife cooks cooks your meals, or you can't, or your husband so, cooks meals, no. or you can't cook meals. That's it. You or know? you're just extremely bored because we gotta do wellness checks. A lot of motherfuckers are losing their minds right now. What? Just being home? Yes. Man's have never been by themselves in their life. That's what it really comes That's down crazy. to. There's two yeah. things. There's loneliness yeah. and there's aloneness, bro. Loneliness is that state of being where yo, you need to be around people to feel validated, bro. That's crazy. Me. Aloneness is yo, you embrace this place. Love it. I like being alone. I learn in this space. I go, I, I, I self improve. Mm. You know, it's hard for people to look at themselves in the mirror. Let alone, you're forced to look at yourself in the mirror being stuck at home. Yeah, suicide's up. I think a lot of people self reflect, and you're right. You know what I'm saying, you know, me take that time to actually develop yourself as a as a human being. And a lot of people are missing that, you know. I fuck with that. That's crazy to me. That's though. why we're out here pushing, pushing positivity. Pushing positivity. Pushing positivity. <laughs> you know? and let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. What's pushing P? What though? is pushing P? You know, the, I thought it was pushing pipe, bro. Just pushing what? Niggas out here pushing pipe. I'm uh, pushing pipe, bro. Hey, get into it. The pimping, the pimping out here. We're pushing the pimping. So I'm kind of right. I'm on the right. Niggas it's, pushing P. I feel like I feel like the pushing P is whatever. Uh, any any P word. Uh, any p word you know what i'm saying any p that you feel is that like, what it is though? oh i don't know that's, big pimpin, big that's, that's what it means to me for real <laughs> it's what big pimpin. Pimpin. Yeah. is that how it started that ain't p that ain't pit, that ain't player that ain't p oh, oh this nigga ish that's why you got to get the young, young boy, boy report young that's boy. why the young boys are here i'm writing that down you need a young boy on the on the program <laughs> need p, young boy p, bro. shout out to young boy too nba young boy i could feel like an atlanta i feel like this is a southern term or something it's 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 a what it's, <laughs> i'm saying like you're chilling you're talking real slow you got that lean in your hand yo that ain't p it's a, it's a that so, ain't p i think it's just a social media term you know like i can hear wack 100 saying that yeah, they've always seen it. Uh, that ain't Pete, bro. Yeah. You gotta keep it. You gotta, gotta keep it Pete. Yeah, yeah, you, you gotta keep, keep it. Gotta keep it player. You gotta keep it pushing. Ah. You gotta keep it player. I was a young boy out here doing this to the G's. It's not young boy, though. That's Gunner. You know what up, Pim? Young, 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 Gunner made it known. It's Gunner. On a global scale. But it's always been Atlanta like that, though. Mm. It's always been Atlanta like that. Atlanta's always had the. Like, what up, player? What up, Pim? Atlanta, New what York. Up, Pete. Mm. Yeah, what up, you know what I'm saying? Pushing P. You see what I'm saying? Got you. The East Coast kind of thing always has the the styles, I think. I think I East know. Coast, East Coast know. was the hub for a lot, but once you put that Southern flavor on stuff, bro, everything, yeah, it hits different. Like even hip hop started in in New York, yeah, bro. The the, 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 the ladies too, the bro. Those Crisco Southern joints, fried the- <laughs> chicken. Mm, that's it, Crisco. Them grits, <laughs> them grits, and grits. That fried chicken, bro. Extra spicy. Remember, Popeyes in Louisiana. Never forget that, KFC bro. Kentucky. Where's Kentucky at? Though? South. For real? Yeah. I feel like some got somebody got hung. Yeah. Kentucky seems like one of those states. Yeah, man. Niggas were dying. Churches. I think churches yeah. down there too. Churches. I think churches down there too. That's Jamaica. All the all them uh all them all them chicken all them fried chicken places. Yeah, chicken, yeah. yeah man. Popeyes, Popeyes, Louisiana. I rock with that. Bro. Sonics. All the good food is down there, eh? Yo, nice. all the food is. I think That's the more south about. you go, is the more the more more fat that's using your food. Hundred percent. I Large. feel like you're gonna see more cultures the more south you go. And that's what? a dangerous statement. That's a that's a that's a bad state. That's a dangerous statement it because dangerous it's like statement. You're, you're putting a correlation between <laughs> geographic location. I'm location. putting a yeah. cor- let me break down what I'm putting. I'm putting a correlation between where the sun hits most, mm. having the most energy. Awesome. Let me clean myself up real quick, bro. Because mm. I was digging myself you know, up already. Right. <laughs> it's true though. Yeah, it's true though. They like, definitely it's it, like even the Caribbean countries and South American countries, Africa, but way more culture. Yeah, you know I'm yeah. saying. Like you think of it, like Jamaica, for example, that's some be beating on you. Mm. That's some reggae music. That attitude, like when the sun's hitting you, you're just happier, bro. Honestly, that melanin just absorbs it. Yo, you're more energized. You want to do more. You want to laugh more. Hence our people. This 50 centimeter snow that I'm seeing oh, right man. now. Whoosh, Makes you stay, it makes you stay inside. It makes you do this. It makes you. I don't think our people are meant to to, to, to be in the snow, man. To be honest, yeah. we haven't adapted. Our, our, our evolution has not made it. I'm like not. That. I'm not a. I'm you not know, a. Society snow tells you you should go live here. Snow off the car the other day, like literally that day. How do you feel, bro? I was like, this is not it. I'm telling you, I felt like a winter soldier. Though. I felt like I was a G. I had no gloves, nothing. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. Frostbite was creeping in. 
Knees weak, arms are heavy. Yeah. Yo, I knew something was wrong when I was um I was driving at work, mm. and I was hitting corners tight, and I'm having fun Tokyo drifting in the snow. I'm like, yeah, I'm a winter soldier now, bro. Yeah, I'm man. enjoying this. This is too crazy. Bro. Trust me, every year. You gotta push that plow. To be honest, you gotta, you gotta push that drifting. plow. That's that pushing P, fam. Let's not push and pee. I so, think I think we spoke on it. Where you want you want to hit something? No, no, no. I'm just making sure we got we got. I'm on I'm on check right now because I want to make sure these the the the, the, or, the organization the employees being there. You oh, know? we can hit all our. So we're hitting it right now because we got that we weather report, bro. You know what I mean? Because I'm gonna make sure to get that blur put up and say like, yeah, we got the weather report right here in the podcast. Weather reports, Matt. You know what I'm saying push and pee got that. We got that little push and pee segment right there on the podcast. We're you know pushing. Saying? You know what I'm snow saying? Plows, bro. We're pushing plows about plows, bad. Plows, and plows are getting pushed out. Like it's bad, bro. It's bad, bro. I see. Y'all never heard about China's fake sun? I'm Let's not. get into that. Let's get into what? that. Next. Let's get into that next, what though. Is, break that down. Fake sun. Yeah, apparently, apparently, I don't know. This, the sun's been acting up weird. It's all red and bright. And, you know? In China? No, here. Even, everywhere. everywhere okay. The whole world. This is sun. Okay, 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 okay. I have China. Well, uh, apparently, China has this fake sun. The sun we see is not real. No, it's, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, honestly, they control so much resources. Bro. <laughs> no, 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 if this shit was a Truman show, <laughs> that's uh, what I'm saying. I wouldn't feel like hold on, because hold on, because they say life imitates art. What is that? Art, art imitates, art imitates life. life. So but we, 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 we're gonna get we're gonna get flagged with that misinformation thing because I've seen that right. That post <laughs> misinformation. I mean, well, I've seen that. Tell the truth, you're getting flagged. Exactly, that's a fact. That's that, a fact. That's a nobody fact. can dislike it anyway. So but I hit that like button, bro. That's a fact. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. It is the Hunters Podcast, man. We just we just have these kind of conversations among the mandem. But real quick though, because I seen that pot, I seen that uh that post on IG mm-hmm. about the about the Chinese sun. I'm just and a high conspiracy guy. No, nah, that's fine though, because I like it. You I like seen it. it. You seen a post though? Yeah, yeah it was on. Where it, are these posts? It was up on IG. It was up on IG. Six bus posted it, and it's just like the, the all the the people in that town or whatever yeah. were like outside this place on the beach, like look taking films. I'm like, okay, this is weird. Like how you just in front of the sun like that? It makes no damn sense. So you actually look at the comments or whatever, and you start to realize like, nah, they're not performing the right thing. It was mm-hmm. actually a uh a uh. What's the thing? A rocket. It was a rocket launch. See how we it can was get a rocket. Launch. But here, you see, what I'm saying about misinformation. Yeah, but here's the thing, though. China does have a does have a a, a sun they're working on. It takes a long time, but it's on deep underground, and it's a it's a fusion reactor trying I to heard this. to create an artificial sun because our sun is dying off. Or da, 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 da. That's what they're saying. But that so you're right though. You're right. But what so you saw? Telling me go ahead. They're drunk. working on the consumer version. When meanwhile they already have the real thing working right in front of them. But hold on, how, how can you? How, that thing's not working. We're fucking it up. What I'm saying to you is that that post that we, we all saw. Fuck up the sun. We're fucking up the earth, which is affecting the sun. I guess I don't know. We're fucking well, something up. Look at the sun gonna shine no matter what. <laughs> no, when we die, and the sun's also still gonna be there. I agree with you. It is. But we sure. gotta take notice because I think the more and more you yeah. see of the sun or something, the more of that radiation's coming. That means we're destroying the ozone layer. Mm-hmm. Right, oh, so yeah. that's the issue. I think. So the more to... false suns we make, I think. I think they're trying to clear a uh, clean energy source. That's why they're trying to do that. Right. It seems like ever watch Iron Man. So it's something like to that. Create a reaction. Something like that. That's what it is. The fake sun that they have is giving us too much radiation. Nah, the, the real sun. No, no, no. I think. I think there's. Right the real sun. I'm here. I'm where you the, are. The right real now. sun is supposed to give us that. Like you said, it uplifts us and it brings us. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I'm trying to say the fake sun would give us too much radiation. See what I'm trying to say? I hear no. what you're saying. The fake no. sun that they have as a nuclear reactor right now. Right? Nah, that's not doing nothing. It's not. It's and or cool. the it's fake it. sun that's up there in the sky right now. This is the true show. So this is real shit right now. You guys are just gonna go with this, bro. I'm playing off. What's going on? I'm pushing. I'm pushing. I'm not pushing that. P. I'm not pushing that. The weather's not acting up. Why is the weather acting up? The weather's the yo. I believe we live the in weather's Toronto. I don't believe. Toronto. I don't believe the weather's acting up. I believe the Earth is fixing itself because. Oh, Things yeah, have slowed to down due to COVID. If you guys fall into that, I agree. Category, I about. agree. There's you know less emissions, less whatever being burnt for whatever. So that means Bro, the weather's now finally getting hit. If you notice in I Toronto, we have a lot of woodland creatures. Over the last two years, the amount of fox, foxes, is that how you say it? Fox eye? Uh, foe. <laughs> foe. <laughs> Yo, the amount of foxes that have been in the city. No, it's real shit. It's like been like, like, like fuck. Yo, nah, bro, <laughs> this guy is just fucking me up. Okay, okay. Yo, the amount of what? The amount of fox, fox, fox in the city, fox in the city. Yeah, I sound British now. Like other foxes. Fox. Fox. The amount of foxes it's in the city thing. have risen by a high amount. It's a, and the coyotes too. These are woodland creatures that were Cats. supposed to be there. Where, <laughs> yo. I say coyote and I say catties, even though the number of catties has risen. It's a Toronto podcast. Absorbent. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta bring it in one so time. Nature is fixing itself, I but agree. I think we are 
stepping in. But like what you said with the sun, mm. I heard about that shit, bro. They had a go. They, it burned harder than the sun for 15 seconds. It burned hotter than that. the sun burns for 15 seconds. That blows my mind. Damn. On Earth. Man, man, how make... small is this thing? How big can see the ones that are fucking up the environment and shit? We're the ones that gotta. Right? Hey man, Yo. look, look, hold on though. A lot of conversation. Give up our cars and drive there's tablets. a lot here. No, nah, there is a lot here to unpack because I think it is interesting. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, from 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 actually, like, I always, whenever you see a post or anything about something yeah. crazy, I look at the comments because I want to see what people are saying. Because yeah. I start to know it's okay, the bots. And you see the bot having conversations with other bots. I'm like, okay, this is weird. Then you go and start seeing actual people start believing what they're bots you are see, saying. You see, they think they're bots, they, right? No, they are bots because you look at it, you look at the pages and you see, you see people like you see 50 people following, and then you have another person who's 100 people, and it's like, what the hell? How do you have 50 people following? This is weird in Instagram. Yeah. And then you see yeah. attractive looking pictures of girls, like you yeah. have 50 followers. That's weird. So it's, it's like, the okay, YouTube comments that really show me those bots. That's bro. what makes it up. But but in terms of this, 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 uh, uh, topic on um the, the artificial sun thing yeah it just when i seen that post i was like okay that's crazy you know what i'm saying then you start looking at the comments comments some people are like nah this is weird like we talking about this fake yeah. like my first inkling was like how can you have a sun right in front of people just videotaping it that right there makes me look at it and be like this is weird mm -hmm. you know that's not true so i started like dig a little bit deeper you start to see comments where people are like nah this is incorrect you can look at the actual source here's the da, da, da. if you want to go to the website here it is like this is wrong we guys like people are like six bullets or whatever it is any and quote but insert ig handle here that said this is the wrong information yeah. and you're just putting out this fake source because if you look at it critically you're like okay they're saying they made an artificial sun but they made an artificial sun where people can literally stand close to it yeah and videotape that's not true that's that's something else it doesn't here. add up you know what i'm saying that's all i was saying it so, goes against every law we were taught in school yeah but then we got to go back to the social conditioning conversation if that's the case because hold on because real quick <laughs> that's where Ish hit the because because there is <laughs> truth in it that's the that's the thing about that's the thing that's the thing about what Ish says though that's the thing about Ish says there is truth there is truth there is a lot of truth yeah. in little parts of it because there is like no for a lot of people no one ever heard about the fact that Tricks. no one ever heard the fact that we had an artificial sun being made so like you look at it and say okay there is an actual artificial sun now mm -hmm. first and foremost that's brand new information but that means what they actually showed you was mm -hmm. fake but then what's actually going on is true so there is always truth in a lot of this stuff they're saying that's why when it's be saying the conspiracy theories there's always truth in it maybe there's, he's like inc incorrect on that example everything. that's what i mean i agree with that mm -hmm. bro mm -hmm. and he'd be dropping some gems Yo, ish off off air. This guy has the conspiracies up. Bro. We're gonna get him. He's we're gonna, gonna talk. To we're him. gonna get him on here, man. Hell yeah, bro! Dropping a little conspiracy uh, uh, theory of the day. Yo, move it, keeping it moving. Though. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah. We pushing Pete. Keep pushing podcast. Pushing bro. podcast, pushing man. Podcast, bro. That's what I'm putting out. Huh? Yeah. Title episode. Pushing podcast. Pushing podcast. Pushing. I like pushing positivity. Pushing progress. Down. But yo, I feel like right down these times, we're gonna bring it back. We had a discussion about this the other day. Huh. There's a lot of podcasts right now, bro. Yeah. The, yeah. the, 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 I said, I said the space is dense. It's gonna be the year of the podcast and the NFT. Yeah. It's a year of the digital, the yeah. digital landscape. Yeah, yeah, man. Like you said, even Web three, uh, Web three point and all that stuff that's going on that we're learning yeah. from you and other other cats in the game. It's like we were talking about it last week, right? Everyone's joining and entering this podcast space. And I broke it down. I was like, look, everyone's just entering this digital space. And that's mm -hmm. all you want. And as you get out to the digital space, because it's ownership, your voice matters. Yeah. Right. It matters because you can actually just, you can just put it out there. That's all I'm saying. So if you can put it out there, you can also have a massive fan base. You can amass a subscriber base. You can amass whatever. And I think, I think the discussion went along the lines of what's the rubric, bro? Like what's the metric system for saying what's going to be a successful podcast versus There's unsuccessful no rules. podcast? There's no rules. I believe there is because... If you're joining a space, a competitive space, this is com this podcast on YouTube, right? Yep. If and you're Google doing a podcast, why are you putting it on YouTube? What do you mean? Why are you putting your podcast on YouTube? Why why do we put a podcast on YouTube? It's a video podcast. I don't know. I'm asking you, like, why 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 do you believe we put our podcast on YouTube? Oh, because I just look at it and say, like, in 2022, if you have a a camera, mm -hmm. or sorry, you're already doing something on on audio, you understand. Okay, you have a camera also. Why don't you just yeah. put it together? And Put, release that product gotcha. that's the best option is and then you can also take advantage of the youtube algorithm and youtube yeah. in general now you can enter this space which is more so defined and you see that everybody is kind of gravitating been gravitating towards it yeah like it, it just made sense gotcha. you know what i'm saying so and people people ask people people who rather watch that will actually see see the see the see the environment in which people are talking about you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like when you get to watch it it's different from get to just hear it it's just hearing it yeah. on Spotify yeah. versus just yeah yeah because I can, you can always hear you can always hear well, a podcast what makes it. a good podcast I guess that's that's where I'm going with the rubric mm. what makes a good one that 
the masses we want. As we try to figure this out, eh? As we try That's to, what I'm saying. We do it. We do it on air, eh? Because uh, we're pushing podcasts. We also have a show. We're pushing, pushing podcasts. We also have Clubhouse Jams. What's up, we just had season two of that shit. It was fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We'll check that out. The link should be down there. Down there below, man. On the channel. All the playlists. Everything's organized nicely. Succinctly. Clubhouse Jam season two. Clubhouse Jam season one. Vlogs. Yeah. All that stuff. Yeah. Minting NFTs as we speak. He's minting NFTs. He's gonna show you guys. Get it in. That's that's free oh, promo. Yeah, that's, that's wrong page. Wrong page. Let's that's, switch it up right now, quick. Holy no, 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 Jesus Christ! I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Porn to yourself. Oh, kind of patrol. Wow. Show the kind of patrol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big shoutouts. You can't see it. It's all good. It's all good. If Panda, you're watching, sponsor that nigga right there. Sponsor that man. He's pushing pandas. He's pushing pandas the whole time. I don't know how much peas. We can get up a lot of peas. Yeah, man. Peas the one. But back to it. Back to it. What makes a good podcast? Because we're in this. We have our show, mm. which is Clubhouse Jams. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. People are confusing Clubhouse Jams as a podcast, and that's because we're getting into new territory. I've, I've talked to a lot Why of individuals. That? That's what I'm saying. It's just they don't understand the difference between this is a broadcast in a certain sense because we're videotaping it, it's being recorded, and it's on a platform, right? Clubhouse Jams is also a broadcast, but it's in a show format. It's a program. People don't really understand the difference. So the problem, I'm not a problem. What I've been running through is a lot of individuals say, oh, yeah, that's your podcasting, right? I'm like, podcast? No. Oh, you're talking about in the show in general because I was sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that, there's a differentiation between that as an actual show, yeah, a program, yeah, versus this, which is a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Mm. So what's going to differentiate a podcast and make it solidified as a podcast and what makes a good one? I think, okay, well, overall, I think that the difference between, like, let's say Clubhouse Jams or any yeah. show like that, like, when you look at it visually, you have, like, you have an intro, you have a you have a, a, a intro ad, there's a structure to it. Um, yeah. It's not just conversational based. You see, like, an audience mm -hmm. behind, you see more things kind of going on, as opposed to this, which is more so, like, what I think, when I believe, these are almost my thoughts and views, people. Um, what makes us a podcast or makes this podcast is like we have we're having a conversation we're all seated or in in a space close proximity to us yeah. having the same conversation about something and and in a casual interview based kind of situation i think yeah um but i i, I like when i don't know i think it's easy to kind of see the difference though like between that and this but i it's, know yeah. it's easy to see the difference between the clubhouse jams and this yeah i'm just guessing the, the the space is very competitive i keep on saying the same thing yeah, yeah, yeah. so i feel like the rubric for a great podcast is just you're gonna have to have subject matter yes you're gonna have subject, to yeah. have opinions yeah it can't just be objective because people really tune into a great podcast because they value someone's opinion on yeah, yeah yeah you know when it gets to issues find it interesting Ish segments we're like yo ish what do you think about this ish is gonna hit us with something's totally left or yeah, totally yeah, yeah. right depending on how ish feels bro. Mm. you know what i'm saying you have your own perspective on things and your your perspective is a strong perspective like you, you come with data analysis too what what's gonna bridge the gap between let's say for instance the guy who just started off his podcast yesterday mm -hmm. and us who you know we kind of broadcast we understand how it works we have a format which we're, we're figuring out still though yeah. we're, we're still very i think we're still still newbies but i think mm -hmm. i think uh what makes i guess your overall question is what makes a good podcast right oh yeah yeah and i think like you say i just to piggyback on some of your your your, your examples and, and things so like i agree like yeah you have to have a, a structured conversation like actual topics and mm -hmm. what you're talking and discussing but i think it's also important to like be able to to uh, let each other speak because there is still that radio broadcast airwave kind of kind of um, component of this thing yeah. where it's like not everybody can be talking at once. It's not a conversation that you're having in the middle of a of a classroom or in the, the lunch table or something. It's like one person at a time because we have to understand like someone else is watching us or listening to us. Hell right. Yeah. It's not just clutter, clutter, clutter. You can speak. I speak. You speak. So moderation, understanding when people can speak yeah. is very, very good. You can't just like, you know chaos in the in the in the room needs this it can't happen gotcha. you know what i'm saying i think that's what the, the, if you can do that i feel like you should be good honestly and, and just doing it just, i think just have fun be, yeah super, i yeah, think man. the have fun part gets yeah we're it's, just, we're it's just really overrated though yeah because i think a lot of people just go on their podcast and have fun and it's like yo yeah. i'm not I'm not gaining anything from listening to this shit. yeah yeah, yeah. And a lot you know of people come in kind of three nfts by the way, the network, by the way. <laughs> 
NFT watch. How, what does mint mean, bro? No, 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 no. Don't, don't. We're going to bring into that. We're, we're, we're going to NFTs. We're going to NFTs because and, and minting and all that stuff. You just made three mints in order. You just minted three things. He said you know I'm seconds. getting old. I just got to smoke the whole thing. I'm like, dude, now, bro. <laughs> no, That's you're not. You're good. You're good. You're good. ripped now. But the podcast piece, the podcast piece, um, I just think it's interesting because when you have <laughs> – when you have yes. when you have when you have people who can just like you know free basically have a conversation yeah. or anything, you're good, man. You don't have to worry about all that next stuff. Just 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 do this for for See, the, the fact that you talk. Kick, kicks in. <laughs> what's my second? My conspiracy theory is their flag, but before <laughs> this guy's on it, bro. I'm waiting for Ish to look at me and tell me I'm a fucking robot. That's <laughs> AI. We're all AI. The Neuralink is already implanted. It's been in. Yo, but yeah, man, it's my talk. I feel that. I feel that about the podcast. And I feel like it fits into the new digital landscape of things. Like you said, it gives everybody accessibility. Yeah. I feel like with everything, since this is so saturated now, everybody's hooping, bro. Yeah. Everybody's hooping. Everybody's pushing. Podcasts. But then we'll, we'll eventually so find out who the best are. Yeah. yeah. It weeds the process. It's, it's a process of filtration now, bro. It's a process of also innovation. Yeah. Because there's so many ideas. Yeah, man. We have of how to bring the podcast into the digital frame. Yep, that's like okay, the metaverse. Yo, bro, yep. look at what they're doing with basketball games right now. Yeah, is you seen that shit? Yeah, man. Crazy Brooklyn Nets. You seen the Brooklyn Nets joint? Yeah, I seen that. I seen, I seen the cannon ring they had all set up and cameras and stuff. <laughs> oh my! You said he had like hundred. Oh, you said he had a hundred cameras or something in there. A hundred cameras. Oh, and what's crazier to me is yeah. I don't know what kind of cameras they're at. They might be cannon. If it's cannons. That might be crazy, bro. So we could deal with that. That's what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because look, like we have a shit linked up. I don't see why not. You put it, and they have this it's a software. It's a software working with the camera. Mm. These are ideas. You hold in the vault. Oh, these are ideas. Chill out, chill out. It what excites me. It excites me. It excites. But yo, what what entices me about that one is that they didn't. It's not even the real players. It makes a digital profile of the player on the court. Yeah. And then it's an animated player hooping. It looks like 2K, and you're sitting there a lot. That kind of pisses me off at the same time. Who owns who owns that though? Who who owns those players' Do rights? Players get rights to that. We always look to Ish like this nigga knows. You see, what I'm saying about these rules are being made right now. Who owns those like right. digital assets? That shit's being monetized, and we're not even capitalizing it because people, you know, they don't, they're not thinking. Of it. Yeah, they're not thinking ahead of the curve. You know what I mean? I see Steph Curry a lot of these guys get into NFTs now. They're Early, yeah. Four to eight yacht members. Um, um, you no, know, or they might be, you know. Um, Looking into buying crypto punks or getting involved in this space. You know, mm. I seen Stephen Curry a while ago on Twitter talking about you know asking people on his Twitter like you know who knows about crypto. Like, you know, yeah. Before he got into it, now he's seen he changed his profile pic to you know a monkey or something. Yeah, it's a board ape. Yeah, board ape. Yeah, board ape yachts or whatever. Yeah, Yo, is it gonna get to the point where mans are going on vacation with their family using an Oculus? Probably. If you can't afford it, why not? Yeah. No, I think it's NFT. Membership allowing you to go on a real life vacation yacht cruise. Oh, because oh, of the perks. Because, they, because the, the, that's why they, there's all these perks and benefits of being a board yeah. yacht member. Yeah, it's an elite. Yeah, you know, only the rich. Yeah, only the dude. I'm hearing some stories. Like I'm hearing people are they have in their in on using the Oculus because we're talking about digital landscape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're using your Oculus. You're sitting at home. You put that join on. Now you don't. You have a forty-eight inch screen TV at your regular house. Now mm-hmm. you have a seventy or a hundred foot screen. Now you're sitting back watching movies in your Oculus in your digital house, and this shit's mind blowing to me, bro. Mm. Like it changes the whole game. And you're walking around with your little avatar, bro. I don't know about these avatars. Yep. You're watching the Hunters podcast. Thanks for tuning in. If you like the content you're hearing, um, subscribe, hit that like button, share. You know, we have goods. Check out Clubhouse Goods on Instagram. Let me aim at the camera so y'all can see. Henny's going to come on eventually. You're going to see some more merch that we got. But if you like what you're seeing, if you want to be a part of the movement, you know what to do. Hit us at Hunters Club on Instagram. You can email us, reach out, all sponsorship investments. Anything you want to do, we can make it happen. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's just the digital landscape. It's it's very interesting. You know, the possibilities yeah. and stuff like we're talking about, like everything we're kind of been talking about today. It's like if you bring that to the digital world, aside from the weather, obviously, just pushing P, pushing product, pushing, pushing, pushing. Uh, uh, I don't know, whatever, whatever P word that makes sense. Programming. Pushing. Pro- I think pushing that's what it early. comes down <laughs> to, you know, B. Pushing programming. Pushing programming. programming. I don't want to go into a deep one. Right now, I'm pushing play to earn, play to earn gaming. What is that? 
play to earn games. So like, no, we have, uh, like, you know, you can play games and earn crypto. Oh shoot! Yeah, so, so you yeah. earn. You're making yeah, your own game. Like, you, so you just play any kind of game on this platform, or how does that work? Well, like right now they have so on the same website, Magic Eden. Shout out to Magic Eden, mm. Solana Network, mm. uh, NFT platform. As you guys can see here, they have a mini royale. It's like a battle royale. You guys got to look. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mini royale. Yeah. Oh, they have their own game on there. It's you just play it. It's like CS:GO yeah. or like uh, Fortnite or yeah. like a battle royale, Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In their own like kind of like Roblox. Like, Interesting, and they pay you in NFT or they pay you in pay you in their ETH own, or whatever. No, no, they pay you in their own currency. Token. <laughs> their own, their own. Is it their? Is it their? Is it their own? Is it their own token kind of thing? They have their own, uh, their own rewards and stuff. Interesting, and yeah. Right. So you think? Do you think? You think? Uh, that's how they're doing this thing because, like, if you can, if I can get, like, I can create a website because we, we're still figuring out the rules for this digital landscape. Yeah. I need to test it out. I do it this way where I could pay you to play games. I can pay you to browse like they do for for brave browser and other yeah, things exactly. and then you can like okay whereas, let's test it out normally we pay for like fortnite like V-Bucks yeah we're like buying skins like these kids now they're buying these fortnite skins and stuff. yeah yeah, yeah. Like, multi-million dollar industry where people like you know it's a digital asset you know it's digital yeah yeah you know but it's still a million multi-million dollar market so people are asking like you know where there's value in digital assets like nfts and whatnot like you know they could they, you could argue that there already is that digital asset marketplace that's worth multi-million yeah interesting 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 i just think it's all interesting man there's a lot to digest and unpack with this nft and it's hard to keep up keep up because there's so much info and it's still developing yeah you know what i mean i think i just i agree like i think the whole digital landscape and people getting their voice and ownership women podcasting all that stuff and then bringing it onto the the, the this metaverse conversation we're about to get into it's like it's 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 key that people kind of pay attention to it um we're all still barely new you know what i'm saying but the boy shout out to homie is shout out to yeah. homie ivano yeah. i've been pressuring us and telling us yo you guys need to start focusing on this and like mm-hmm. understanding what's going on here because this is a big play um it's not beyond just the money about aspects just like you have to be ahead of the curve because this is where the world's going you know yeah. what I mean? and this is how it's going to be so we have to like adapt to it so i think Fair. it's important that we just add this little segments to these kind of short conversations segments, short yeah segments, real short because we, we don't know nothing we can't we can't we can't give out any financial advice or a resource or nothing. but what's what i'm proud of is we're not laughing at it. a lot of niggas would be like yo this is a finesse shut yeah. it down move on to the next thing you know and then yeah. you and when it's things actually busting when the stock's up you're looking like uh you're looking real down yeah man <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah man but yo speaking of nfts and music i know all these artists are dropping their nfts and whatnot Yo, which new artist? Yo, which new artist just dropped the NFT, bro? Man, I, I, I all I, did. Bro. I I feel like I feel like if you're yeah, Thugga, Thugga I, just dropped. I it. feel like they had to because it's part of if you're a, if you're a label artist, yeah. like you your label is already doing that for you. Like you're like you already have a you're crypto. On it. you're it's on part it. of it. it's just part of your rollout now. You just add yeah, add it. You know what I'm saying? So like when it comes to NFT, I think I think Ish was talking about it. Ivano. Shout out to Ivano was talking about it. Um, a lot of them are flopping. Right, the a lot new of NFTs, the new guys releasing all these new NFTs and stuff. They're not making as much money as the initial guys, like Tori yeah, last, like last year. Solana Network right now that's very, very saturated. There's a lot of projects coming out mm. that are flopping. They're not doing great. I've made a mistake of minting a couple of trash NFTs. No cap, you guys. End up so this happens. Yeah, it you happens. Take losses for sure. You'll learn. You know, it's part of. It's a very, very early space right now. Yeah. So yeah. He was talking about specifically Solana NFTs. Yeah. And I started to get more saturated. Started to become more mainstream. Ah. Uh, so there's cheaper fees. Than yeah. Ethereum and all that kind of stuff. Open There's a lot of fees. Like my boy, for example, yesterday, um, he sold an NFT on Open Sea. Mm-hmm. So, um, I don't know. He made he made some profit. You know what I mean. By the mm. time he ended up paying for the mm-hmm. gas fees, the profit just went to the gas fees. Mm. You know what I mean. Well, yeah, you were telling us. That, you guys got to be careful with uh, wrapping or sending wrapped coins to different wallets that don't accept that blockchain. Your funds could be lost. You know what I mean. We're, we're gonna we're gonna break down all these terms. Yo, I need you using. guys to send me to all the Gary V videos. You've been I'm watching. telling you, man. Because you guys, these guys have been studying this shit, and I'm like, yo, the language, it's not there. That's all he says though. Like Chinese. when he when he was talking about uh, uh crypto and yeah. NFTs and all that, he's just like, yo, like I can tell you, but if you need to, if you want to understand it, you gotta put your own hours into it. You gotta like learn yourself. It's not gonna be spoon fed to you like we were talking about that conversation uh-huh. earlier. It's you have to kind of put your hours in. He's like 50 hours, you gotta put 50 hours of research before you even start like being like, minimum, Yeah, minimum. minimum, just for you to understand what kind of what's going on with this space because it's 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 new, it's it's new, and everyone's kind of writing their own rules, and yeah. you know, eventually it's gonna be all 50 hours is not that so much. it's not that much. You guys getting an Oculus though. You're gonna cop one of those ones. VR, that's your new shit. 
I mean, we're already on our phones 25% of the, how much percent of the day are we on our phones or on a device? Mm. Have, we have three, two screens, three out screens around. Yeah. All the time. I already live in the metaverse. Yeah, man. Yeah. Already living so you're copping. I mean, I've used one before. It's honestly, I would just get it to play games. You know what I mean? Like you can even make yeah. beats. You can make beats. You can Do make you think it's easier? Would it be easier to produce in the VR? It might be. I've, tr- I've, tr- I've tried it when it was like, I don't think it was like, as developed when I think yeah. I was using it. Mm-hmm. Maybe now it's it's sick. I see some people doing it. People, people are getting the stuff. VR set it's, with it's, the gloves and they're so doing rapidly. exercises. The technology too. is is getting so more so advanced every day. You know, yeah. Yeah. It's developing, developing. So it's like the new software updates, who knows what you could do, what the functionality you're upgrading. You know? And conspiracy section, you know, with yeah. all this remote shit going on nowadays and like the new VR having the handset. I saw a video where um Homegirl was in a workout segment in the virtual world and she was getting her exercise in with a whole class of individuals wait, in the wait. metaverse, bro. But then wait, she's not working out then? She's working out. Oh, she in real life? Her, yeah, in, in real life. She has her headset on, she has her gloves, she has her workout class, and oh. her teacher's working out in the class. Oh, okay, she's okay. working out. Because I, I was picturing like push-ups, I'm like, what the hell? Like, how you do that? But like, it's yeah, like a boxing yeah, thing where you can yeah. actually swing and shit. Interesting, you know and you can join saying? a class. Yeah. Ah, uh, because all everyone, because of the, if you put look at the pandemic, you can't have any physical class anymore. I can be a okay. teacher in a studio doing the things. You can follow me at home on the Oculus. That's is it. that utility? That's distracted and they can complete their agenda. No, uh-huh. because there's always <laughs> two sides to the coin, right? There there's is. always two sides. There's, there's, like, there's this positives, but then underneath this, all the stuff that's kind of going on. No. Oh no, my god. Nah, bro. No, like, you know what? I did watch it. I watched that movie. And I'm a, I'm an avid Matrix. Let's talk about I'm this, a big Matrix I, fan. I I'm a big Matrix fan. Shout and out to the Matrix. Shout out Keanu Reeves. When it's okay, Keanu, I'll Keanu, say Keanu. this. This is all I'm gonna say. This is all I'm gonna say. Go ahead, tell us. When Lawrence when Lawrence Fishburne decides Shut not up, to come back to a movie, it says a lot, bro. Facts. That's true. He's low key one of the goats to me. 100%. I think Lawrence God played God. some big roles on on deep cover. Let's look at Aquila and the B. Yo, my guy said Aquila and the B. <laughs> I just I didn't even take that in, bro. Sure, I, Yo, mean, I didn't even take that in. It was a movie, no. was a movie still. It was a movie. That wasn't it. But that wasn't it, though. It wasn't top tier. Spelling B? Ish, that wasn't top tier. I watched it Ish. No, because they had it on BET all the time and shit. All the time. I'm not watching that. No, I refuse. I watched it. It was like, good, fine, whatever. I'm like, why is the Matrix guy in this? It made no sense. You, <laughs> is, you slipped that one in slick, bro. You slipped that one in slick. Bro. That's hilarious. This guy said a Q and the B. I didn't even recognize that Aquila one. Aquila and the B. Were you saying boys in the hood? Boys in the hood. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's hood. years ago, bro. It doesn't mean nothing. Yo, this is this is his inventory. So yeah. this is his. Sure, this is what have you done, done for me know. recently? Yo, he did, he, did, he, did the, he did the John Wick joint. I was, uh, he, he, oh was, yeah, he, he was, was he was a bird guy, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. bird guy, bird guy. Yo. But everyone likes everyone just like that because it's him and Keanu together again. You need that, and then he threw Trady in there you too, and I was like, but okay. Was it Morpheus a great role though? Oh yeah, of course. What is real? <laughs> what is real? So I'll say, yo, if if Lawrence Fishburne doesn't come back to a movie, I don't think you should either. And that's what I'm saying as a person who's watched The Matrix for and they even do tidbits in it where they were kind of forced the wakowski sisters now oh no yeah what wakowski brother oh is it sisters oh yeah it was yeah it's lana and something wakowski now mm. um yeah it, that shocked me too because i was googling wakowski brothers why did the wakowski I thought it was brothers a, yeah do? they were brothers they had a sex change, oh both of them both of them. At first, it was just one, and then the next one was like me too. Where the odds on that? Though? Hold on, let's talk. Ah, I'm moving on. Moving I don't on. know. When you live in the matrix, on, nothing's real. That's just for pro. Yo, that's what happens in a metaverse. You can be whatever you want to be. Do you think that we we should we should be look, like there will be more? Hmm. Do you think then, like, if you look at the the the, the recent stuff that's kind of going on with yeah. the gender pronouns and stuff, when you put it into the metaverse, does it make more sense to you now? Because now you can identify what you, you want to be called. Well, you're going to be whatever you want to be in the metaverse. Yeah, so they, them. Whatever. Like, all these avatars. things all these things make more sense now if you adapt it to the metaverse thinking in these and this landscape. It's going to be man-dem slash them. The man-dem? His highness. Yo, honestly, that's the <laughs> hardest one. Is there you guys room? taking it in? The man said he's going to be man-dem. Singular and pearl. It's gonna yeah, be, yeah. There's going to be a Toronto room, eh? There has to be a Toronto room. There has to be a city room still. A city room, like a metaverse room? There has to be one. 
I need a Toronto district in this team. Yes. My yes. thing is, if, gonna link up. If, if I'm in the metaverse and I have to walk the can same I distance, the I have to walk. Can I smoke weed in there? Uh, There's gonna be something GTA. that you can take that that fucks with you. Can already in GTA think about GTA walking first person and hit the bong in your. It's exactly the same thing. No, but you want to feel nice in real life while you're while you're high in the metaverse. I wish I was in GTA and VR. That's what they need to make. They're probably gonna do that. They better. They need to do that. They'll definitely do that. You just walk around. As a, ball up as a as a yeah. criminal. No. no. Criminal. CEO. CEO. What's your avatar gonna look like in this yeah, shit? He has one. I have one. It's a panda. Oh my! God. He's gonna be a panda man in, in the in the in the metaverse, and you bought every man's buying these weird looking board ape stuff, and they all look like weirdos. Like what? what Wait, and then they and they use them as their that's your avatar, avatar, right? That's your avatar, right? That's your, that's what you're gonna be now. A monkey in the, in the, and a monkey man's. There's no way they're putting me in a fucking monkey cage as a monkey. Bro. The board ape yacht club shit. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it feels like oh. racist. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is racist. It is. <laughs> Yo, niggas are monkeys in the metaverse. <laughs> I'm off this, yo. So, yo, yo. It's your boy Henny Knows. Thank you so much for watching the latest episode of the Hunters Podcast. If you like what we're talking about, you like the conversation, you like the way we look, whatever it is, hit that like button below. Hit that subscribe button below. We do this for y'all. Check us out. Peace. You can't be doing that I'm shit. Calling, I'm not, I'm not light skin. Not light skin. <laughs> no, we light, light skin. Lightweight, lightweight. Nigga said, he's he's a lightweight, lightweight, lightweight. Well, well, so there's too much cream in the well, coffee, nigga. Well, we get to the platform and then Mike Tyson wants to have a sit down and have a hot boxing with, with a splash and Henny. You, you have a shot. ventilator or something in the nah, room. Nah, like, you gotta have a hot boxing. Nah. nah. First of all, Mike Tyson wasn't consistent enough to keep that podcast going. He's still doing it, no? It's done. He's not. This last episode was October. He's too busy. No, it wasn't. It, okay, big. why was it one of the sickest podcasts? I like the black bro, and white. You ever seen the one, bro? You seen the one with Flock, with Waka Flocka? You seen the one he had, um, bro? He had some good guests. He had, he had Kevin Gates on the joint, and that was a good. Co- Kevin Gates. Gates was really patient because Kevin yeah. Gates wanted to know the story behind ayahuasca and Everything peyote. Asking good questions, yeah. Real conversation. Yeah. That's what we does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And that's what even how about even if you don't smoke, you're just in the room. No, and you get a second. No, look at I'm not gonna let you. I'm not gonna let you. Try to sabotage my sobriety. You had a good night that last last podcast we did. You got nigga. You I was it. signing in the podcast, bro. I didn't know what to talk about. Bro. You're just smiling there in the corner. Like, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about that bitch? Good point, Henny. <laughs> Evil. Nah, you yeah, face me? I like that orange. So you sent me. You sent me. You sent me the IG uh, video, or whatever. And you're like, oh, you're just man. like, bro. I am so. Yo, the best part about that video, so I sent these dudes a video of me ripped out. And I'm I'm sending this guy the video. I sent it to the man them, and then my girl looks at me, she's like, babe, you posted it. I posted it on my story. Uh, Did you actually? I posted it on my wow. story. Wow. No, because Instagram did an update, and it's different now. Oh, yeah, it is different now. You have to yeah, post I did it. That too, but I yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know why they did I that update, though. I, I hate that. that. It was me like this in the car, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you saw wrestling on the TV. I, was, I watched wrestling for an hour and a half. <laughs> I enjoyed every second of it. Is that on TV? What channel is that on? I don't even know, bro. I'm not going to incriminate right. myself because I'm not supposed to be watching TV on certain TVs. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? On certain TVs. On certain TVs. What? You, know, you guys don't know the lifestyle. Lockdown still. <laughs> Upstairs, downstairs, wherever. That's crazy. Hey, yo. <laughs> Let's get into new music, man. New music, man. Yo, who dropped? Let's talk about new music. No, 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 no. Let's talk new music, man. And hey, hey, real quick, shout out to the sponsor. Shout out to the sponsor. We got Grand Duke Beer wow. right here. If you can see the can, 6%, all the way made in the 6666. If you watch the Clubhouse Jams, you need a sip. Right now. We're going to crack that brewski, and you're going to shut down, shotgun the brewski, and it's going to be good stuff right here. Grand Duke Beer, 6%. 6%. Shout out to Nelf Boys. They have a good podcast, too. They yeah, shout out to Nelf Boys. Mike Tyson and a couple of the good guests. Yeah, they had Gary Vee on there uh, a couple a couple episodes ago. Man, those guys are doing their thing. Honestly, they make us like... Yeah, I like that's that. Y'all, you guys are pushing positivity for Yeah, real, man, bro. always. Shout Support out to anybody. City. Hey, sh- shout out to Com- Complex Simplicity. I think Vindad and, and the boy BR got a new podcast. Bro, drop drop too, mm, bro. I'm excited for those guys, bro. Mm-hmm. I want to hear what they got to say. I can't wait to collab with them too because yo, our combos are always lit, yo. We always talk about some sh- fire. Man, shout out Toronto, man. Toronto, Toronto, Toronto. Toronto. That's, City. that's what it is. We got the great creators here. We got the minds here. Right? We have a lot of content, honestly. So uh, anything, anybody that's doing something, we're going to shout you out. It's all about positivity. We're going to bridge that gap. It's not about screw face capital anymore. Forget that. Facts. It's all unit, man. Guys. Let's let's please like let's let's collaborate. Let's try to do what these states guys they don't do. They want us to unite. I'm, I'm all they want us to do is fight. 
That is not right. Yo, yo, ish. Who dropped this? Like, what's going on? Yeah, new music, new music, man. New music, new music. <laughs> moving on, moving on. Who dropped? Who dropped? Who dropped? You, uh, I heard that. I heard that Joey Badass song. You, uh, you, you popped up. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You that's a, with that's, it? that's a nice one. I haven't heard it. You yeah, fucked yeah. with that one? I'm telling you. Shout out. Yeah, 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 yeah man. I'll put, uh, we'll put, I'll put links to everyone's uh, music. music. Joey music, just dropped that new shit. That was flame. Yeah, man. Who right. else came out? I actually did to the Gunner Project like you guys told me to. forever, man. Yo. Gunner Man. Gunner Man. Mop. I like Mop. four tracks on Mop. the joint. I like, I like the John B sample they have. I'm yeah, a man. guy. Push you know? Yeah, what? man. I don't know if the Push and P song was that amazing. I don't think I added it to my playlist. That shit is hard, man. What are you talking about? I know they had... um. The yeah, Chloe, yeah, Chloe yeah. was sounding excellent. Yeah, bro. I didn't hear that. Uh, she whatever. was sounding. She was looking great too. Okay, you, know you heard her. You saw her on the audio of the of the of the song. Hey, Ish got me on that loud right now, bro. <laughs> I saw her through her music. That dope is Ish. You know that saying? dope is Ish. Shout out to her through her music. Okay, moving on. Yo, moving and, then, on. and then we had the JID. It was a JID drop. We had Twenty One Savage on that uh, one too. I didn't hear I think that, that was last that. week. Go take that one take that in. One in. I, heard that, I heard that Chris Brown uh, track. Iffy. Iffy. I didn't feel anything. I didn't about feel it. anything about it, but like you know what, Chris Brown's gonna be Chris Brown, so whatever it is, I respect the man. Shout out Chris Breezy. I see him cross. I want to do the pro. I want to hear the project. I seen so. him. I seen him cross up NLE a chopper. So you know what it is. Shout out. Shout out Chris Breezy on the court. On the court. Yeah. yeah. Hit him with a back. <laughs> Reaching in, you know. What I'm Breezy saying? can ball. Be- Breezy can ball. He can actually. He move. can ball. He's actually in the gym consistently working out. Like he, that's a guy I would have seen. He's not J. Nice Cole, though. I think J. Cole beats Breezy in a, in I don't think so. I don't think so. Yo, that's a not topic. currently, not currently. Right now? No, not currently. J. Cole played for Nigeria, bro. And come on, bro. You know he paid to get on that team, right? No, he didn't it was a publicity pay. stunt, fam. That he was part of his roll up. No, it wasn't. It was. He hoops. After his roll up, J. Was Cole done. doesn't play gimmicks, fam. Is he done? Jermaine? Cole? Cole? <laughs> J. Cole. The real is back. <laughs> He's the real, the, the real, the vil. That was, part of the, that was part of the roll-up. Nah. He was on that team for a month. Yeah, because he sucks. I, so either he sucks or he did it for a roll-up. I'm going to believe he, he did it for a roll-up. I don't think he up. sucks. I, I don't think, think he, he doesn't have a – I don't think he has a, a dribble package. I don't think he has any kind of – anything. He has a dunk package. We're not talking about that pushing P, fam. Six <laughs> we're not pushing that. We're not pushing that P, you know what I'm saying? Moving yo, on. Yo, bro, I, I, yo, I think Breezy would lose. I'll put money on that. I think we should actually get that there. Breezy versus J. Cole challenge. Who you, who you think – Winning in a one on one. That's how you're rapping it. Who's who's winning? One? J Cole or Chris Brown? I want to see those comments. Yeah, I want to see what you people think below, man. You Drop that saying? comment below. I want to see because I'm saying I'm saying Chris Brown is nice with it on the court. Like I'm telling you, he has a cross. I'm seeing you. Like he has a finish game. Any celebrity game, he's in it. Any celebrity game, he's in it. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Believing it. I'm believing in the homie. You're right believing J Cole. Let's wrap this up. Yo, man. let's, let's yeah, wrap yeah. it up with this stuff. New music bro. and all that stuff. Go ahead. We'll talk about it next week. Mm. Ish, as a young boy. Who you think's about to hold it down as the future goat of rap, bro? Goat of the rap. future, the new young goat. guys. Like, who's, who's a new the, young guy? Out of the newest okay, guys, bro. Okay, yeah, man. Is going right. You see what I like? You see what I like? Because now you 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 embody the essence of hip hop because that's what it is. It's competitive. You mm. gotta say yourself if you're in the game, but then you also gotta be realistic with it. Like who? who, who? <laughs> well, you guys never even heard my music. Bro. Yeah, but he doesn't care. He's like realistic. Yeah, who, realistically, who's about to hold down? Ish, you're not coming for anybody's head top, bro. Not you guys, man. Ish. Team. Yo, ish. Where's the, where's the, where's the strong Duh, come <laughs> on, fam. Let's wrap no, it. But for real, uh, but for real, for real. I believe in you, though, Ish. I do believe. I, I, My I bad. look up to like Kendrick and and. No, he's talking about new guys, though. New, new brand. No, let's go then, because see, they're already gonna... established. They're already okay. on the goals list. Why, this is why I brought this question up. I want to entice yeah. because. There's a whole conversation that needs to be had about how old hip hop is, what a valid opinion in hip hop means, what 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 being a veteran in hip hop is, mm. what being a, a amateur in hip hop is, and what being a baby in hip hop is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I think we should chop that up. We're gonna talk about podcast, it, man. Next bro. podcast, man. Next podcast. Get up, let's go. But I'm hearing Hunter's I'm hearing, podcast, I'm man. I'm hearing Henny. I'm Henny saying who? I'm saying I'm saying Chris. Chris who? Chris, no, Chris no, 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 but, but who you say, who's, who's going to hold down for hip-hop? The new guys? Future guys. Yeah, new, new, new. new no school. idea, man. No, no, no. It's saying Kenny's going to be there. I think Kenny's going to be in. there. Okay, whatever. Let's wrap it up, man. We're done. It's going to be there. I don't know if, I don't know if it's going to be Kenny, though. I want, I want to see if you're going to say Young Boy or something. Okay, let's see. But, yo, we're out here. We're out here. Hold down. Listening to Hunter's Club.